the statement. I, I want to just hit, this, hit the question. Uh, I mean, it's always good to come back, but you know, it, it, it'll come old hat. So, you know, I, personally, I think it's probably my last time as, uh, as a coach playing uh, Georgetown. I mean, I enjoy doing it, uh, want to do it, but uh, the talent level that John has is good. Uh, you got a lot of young guys. Uh, you know, they're gonna be, they're definitely gonna be good. What's up, Ryan? They're definitely gonna be good. You know, obviously, if they could, uh, they could definitely grow up in the park and uh, Hollis, uh, they'll show the leadership down the road. They could be good. They got good long, they real long bodies, man. Uh, very athletic. But you know, I think as they grow up, they're gonna be pretty good. You know, for the next two to three years. So uh, not nothing um, bad. We could, I could tell my kids, you know, hey, we got to move on to next. We got North Florida on Monday. You know, that's the type of uh, situation that we're gonna play. We're not gonna get upset about this. We're gonna try to get them and get better. Uh, we gave them a, a little bit of run there in the second half. I mean, we scored eight points. Close it. Second, the first half, first, second half, five points. So, you know, we got some things to work on. We got some uh, pieces to, uh, to to work with at all levels. So, we in the uh, Mid East and Athletic Conference. So, we get to compete for the first time since I've been here, and that's been seven years. So, as I said, it's coming out of the desert. So, we got something to play for. Just got to make sure that uh, you know we don't we don't lose our focus by playing teams uh, of this magnitude. Coach, talk about that that run they they had in the early second half. I mean, kind of blew the game over at that point. I thought they were patient in, in terms of your scramble defense and your trapping. Did you tell your guys to do anything differently, or did it? No, I think our guys, I mean, that's where we, we got, you know, I try to tell my guys we got to have an even kill, whether we up or down. We got we got a nice little run, cut it to three, I don't believe, if I'm not mistaken. And then our guys were like, hey, game over. You know, we the won the game. And I told them if we were out hunting, you know, we was hunting the lion, and we almost got the lion. You know, we can't get excited by almost getting the line. We'll starve to death. So it's got to be even killed, man. I mean, I think we kind of got too excited and lost lost, lost sight of what we wanted to get accomplished. And, and just, uh, you know, uh, those guys, uh, you know, Hollis and Jason and a few of those freshmen coming up and knocking down shots and getting easy stuff. So, I mean, I mean, JT does a hell of a job. I mean, once, once they learn the offense and they, they basically understand it, you know, they're going to get those cuts. Uh, they made some mistakes early, but. This was a good game for them, so I mean they were patient. I thought I thought they did a good job. Andrew Simmons had a, had a career day by by quite a bit. When you were preparing for this game, did you expect? No, nah, I didn't expect Simmons to do that much based on what he's done in the past. But you know, I guess I, I went against what what I try to tell my kids. You know, the past don't dictate the future. So, and that's pretty much what it was. I mean, I, I kind of relied on the past based on what he did and not playing. But you know, he's a senior. Um, and he he has to step up. Him Clark and uh, Holly. Guys have to step up. So, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's, I tell my guys, seven years, we always play these teams. We gonna play these teams. But I'm not mad at them about this particular game. But what what I don't understand is how our preparation in April, May, June, July. You know, we we gonna play these. It's coming. You know, it's not like why not get prepared. You know, and, uh, that's my only uh, disappointment. But Sims, uh, you guys, you know, our guys work in the weight room, but. A lot of times people say, man, y'all doing good. No, nah, we're not doing Georgetown good. We're not doing Indiana good. We're not doing Butler good. We're not doing Georgia Tech good. We're not doing Wisconsin good. We're not doing Arkansas good. Those are the teams that we got to play this year. So uh, we want to play at a high level so that when we do play the North Florida and Jacksonville, that we can compete at a high level against them. And those are the games that we need to win. But it's, it's, it's kind of disappointing because I played at this level. And, and I, know, I understand the preparation. I guess that's my short change as a basketball coach, not being able to convey it to them, the level of, uh, of uh, preparation that you need to play at this high level. You talked about those revenue games. How hard is it to keep your team focused going on the road and playing, you know, that, that murderous road schedule? Early I mean, that's just something that we have to do, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, that's an argument that I have with the, the, the administration and at our level, you know, 50 years from now, why do we have to play, play these games if we don't prepare? Let's prepare today for not playing tomorrow. But to keep them focused, you know, and, and basically just just what you just asked earlier, we we can't necessarily go toe to toe, you know. I can, you know, sometimes we you know a couple of possessions. I think the point guard shot at the top of the shot clock. He got the ball and got a turnover shot at the top of the shot clock. Hey, I see you can get that shot at the bottom of the shot clock. What that does for us, it makes them stay on defense a little longer and it shorts the game. So we as we go forth, we have to strategize to try to shorten the game and try to get to the last four minutes. I think anytime you get to the last four minutes. 
Because I think it was a stretch in the second half. Guys were just knocking down shots like they were free throws because they could look up and say, hey, we up 20. If I miss it, it's a big deal. But if we, in the last four minutes, and you you up four, you miss it, and we go down and score, the, you know, stuff get tight. So we try to we try to get to the last four minutes of the game. So that, that's that's where me and my coaching staff got to kind of slow it down, talk to the guys, possession. Sometimes if you heard me hollering, possession, possession, meaning that it's important. It's an important possession. Let's not take it early. So. Outside of that one three one is you and some of the other defensive teams. What have you borrowed from your time at Georgetown? What do you employ now uh, that you learned basically under uh, Tom Tom? I mean, that's interesting that you say that. I mean, a lot of people say what techniques, what drills, what plays. It's just hey, man, you got to get it done. I mean, mentally, you got to get it done. I really enjoyed my four years here because um, uh, it was tough. I mean, it was unbelievably tough. I think if you know, in this day and age, if, if some people were in our practices, they probably shut Georgetown down <laughs> because it was tough. But at the same time, I walked away from that. I could use that. You know, I was in law school. I wanted to quit. But hey, that toughness that he did four years under him, uh, you know, being married sometimes, it's not always great. But hey, I, you know, I'm going to fight through it and, and, and stay with the woman that I, I chose to. But uh, you just don't walk away from a fight. You know what I mean? Just, I mean, it wasn't what plays. I mean, it was the energy, you know. People say, what play? No, it's the energy that the players must bring as players. It, the players make plays. You know, plays don't make players. So, um, you know, I try to just get these guys to play at a high, a high level, not be afraid to, to play the game at a high level. I mean, what are you afraid of? You know, that's, that's, uh, that's, we just play with a, a, a mental toughness that, that was unbelievable. Thank you.